This old map is from the 70s, and it's a reproduction of an old map from 1570. And you'll notice the way they spell Japan is with an I. Okay, I don't ever recall the I being used before the J was invented, but I don't know, maybe I did hear it. But I'm sitting here watching this video of a guy reading off an old gravestone. And I'm looking at some of the fonts. And in the, in the name John, you'll see they also used an I. Um, over here with the date 16, whatever it is, 21 or whatever, you'll see the one. It's, it's off on a slant. It's really weird. Okay, if the one really does look like that, well, then they, they screwed it up over here because this is, it says the 11th of July. And if you look at the ones in 11, they look like the eyes, you know, which is really much different from this one up here that's supposed to represent the one in year. But here, they actually, the fives look really weird. It's like a normal five with a hook on the top of it. And take the name daughter. It's D-A-U. But later on, it's a V. All right, this is the stone right next to it. And here's daughter again. And now it's a V. And I think um, that's like an old like Latin thing. They used to use the V and replace it a U. All right, getting back to the date. Uh, here's J707. Looks like a J. I mean, it's not the straight, typical uh, one. Okay, right here's another example. You got the 19th of June, 1708. And you'll see the nine, the 19, that looks like a normal one. You see the J in the June, it looks just like the, the J on 1708. All right, here's where it kind of gets a little tricky. This is supposed to say 1715. And in the 15, there also looks like a J, except the very bottom has a little piece sticking out right here. Um, also, look how they spelled the word also back then. They had an E on the end of it. In this video, he was actually uh, reading these two slabs. I think he does the last one, too. Um, but I remember seeing a, a picture of a gravestone where it had the year it was like i793 or something like that and i remember seeing it but i cannot find it in any video anywhere so in the history of uh i y and j it seems like they moved them around depending on uh whether they were in whatever country they were in europe i think it started and there was also a story on how they had a problem in europe somewhere where they had to um they had to change the gravestones, uh, and they had to agree on the year, and they all had to be printed in English. And I guess the people were pretty mad about that, especially on the year that everyone was supposed to agree on to get the whole world on the same uh, on the same page, basically with the date. Okay, even here on a quick search, it says um, J was spelled with either I. Or why? And it gives an example of John. We've seen this version. I've never seen the name John spelt with a Y. But why is it important? If there was an I on uh, the gravestones, it could have been an abbreviation for the year. So I-793, it might actually be the year of 793, if in fact they did add a thousand years to history.